and I struggled with this for a while because I think our perception of silence is incorrect to the surface. So I went and I looked up the definition of silent. It says, not exhibiting the usual signs or symptoms of presence. Mm. And presence meaning a state or fact of existing, occurring, or being present in a place or a thing. So by definition, when we see that, we know one thing that is not possible for God to be is silent mm -hmm. in the definition in that term. Or even in a context that we use it is incorrect. Because we, we look at it like he's not saying anything. Mm -hmm. So in Revelation 19, 6, it says, And I heard, as it were, the voice of a great multitude, as the sound of many waters, and as the sound of a mighty thunder, saying, Alleluia, for the Lord God omnipotent reigns. He's all-ruling, almighty, he's unlimited, and he's sovereign. So he can't be silent in the context that we see it. Um, Psalms 139. Starting at verse 7. And that says, where can I go from your spirit? Or where can I flee from your presence? If I ascend into heaven, you are there. If I make my bed in hell, behold, you are there. If I take the wings of warning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there your hand shall lead me, and your right hand shall hold me. If I say, surely the darkness shall fall on me, even, not, even the night shall be light about me. Indeed, the darkness shall not hide from you, but the night shines as the day. The darkness and the light are both alike to you. Mm -hmm. yeah. <clears throat> He's omnipresent mm -hmm. everywhere at the same time. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. In Psalms 44, 21, it says, When not God search this out, for he knows the secrets of the heart. He's omniscient, all-knowing, all-understanding, and all-wise God. So he can't be silent as we take it, him not speaking or saying. So the question really becomes, is God silent or or are we not in position to listen? Nice. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. <laughs> 